ubushize twaganiriye inyigisho ivuga ku kwica umwuka w'inzoka last time we talked about or we discussed about uh, killing the spirit of the snake uh, mm -hmm. we are going to continue in that teaching Turebe ibintu bitatu and we're uh, going to look at three things uh, inzoka zihuriyeho common features of snakes haba izo mu Rwanda haba izo mu bindi bihugu ha iza zigira ibintu bitatu biri common muri zo zihuriraho all snakes in the world be those in Rwanda or elsewhere in the world they have three common features uh, these are the three things we're going to discuss and share with you the first thing we're going to talk about or the first element is a wisdom or subtility snakes are subtle they are crafty they are very crafty but so cunning in a negative way the second element uh, of snakes, they are, they, are, they are beautiful. They have a shiny skin. Even though it crithers into the dust, it doesn't get dirty. They are ever beautiful, smart, and tidy. The, second, the third feature is uh, the Snakes know how to hide themselves. They can hide. I don't know if there is any other creature that has the knowledge to hide its off like snakes do. These are three traits, common traits of snakes. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. We thank God for today's morning. Who is enabled us to be in this fellowship? You too will welcome you. Heavenly God bless you and be pleased with you. Let us give thanks to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. You are our God. You are our peace. You are the very life. You are our Savior. Father, our thanksgiving goes to you. You are the Lord who protected us. The Lord who taken care of us. The Lord who fed us. The Lord who heals us. The Lord who protect us from sin. May the glory be unto you. Continue to be with us in this day. And let us be blessed by you. Protect us from the powers of darkness. Our Father, protect us from troubles. Bless us because you are our God. Glory is yours. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brethren, we welcome you in this fellowship. Uh, last time we talked about or we discussed about uh, killing the spirit of the snake. Uh, we are going to continue in that teaching. And uh, we are going to look at three things. Uh, common features of snakes. Haba izo mu Rwanda, haba izo mu bindi bihugu, haba iza zigira ibintu bitatu biri common muri zo zihuriraho. All snakes in the world be those in Rwanda or elsewhere in the world they have three common features. Uh, These are the three things we're going to discuss and share with you. Icya mbere tugiye kuvugaho ni ubwenge. The first thing we're going to talk about or the first element is a wisdom or subtility. Snakes are subtle, they are crafty. They are very crafty. But so cunning in a negative way. The second element uh, of snakes, they are they are they are beautiful they have a shiny skin even though it crithers 
into the dust it doesn't get dirty so is it zihora zisaneza rero they are ever beautiful smart and tidy icya gatatu the second the third feature eh inzoka zizikwihisha snakes know how to hide themselves zizikwihisha cyane they can hide eh sinzi ko hari kindi kiremwa gifite ubwenge bwo kwihisha inzoka I don't know if there is any other creature that has the knowledge to hide its off like snakes do. These are three traits, common traits of snakes. Uh, last time I was what, uh, sharing about a snake spirit. We said that in the biblical language, a snake spirit is a devil spirit itself. And we talked about uh, the real time when snakes like get, getting out of their hiding places and we found out it's just noon day time. During day time is a suitable time, good time for snakes to get out of their fox holes. So so we analogously compared our lives with the noon day, the active day uh, period of the time. We found out that it is a time uh, where people are working. Because snakes like going out of their fox poles during noon day, and noon day is a time when people are working, investing, active in their activities. There are far snakes fight normally in their nature they fight your engagements your developments your uh, your, your your successes and your breakthroughs the third thing we talked about in the last session we saw that snakes like eating eggs and uh, figuratively, eggs are, uh, 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 denote future generations of uh, chicken family or hen family. We find that when a hen or a chicken hatches an egg, after 21 days, a new chick is born or is hatched. So when a snake eats an egg, it is eating a future generation of uh, chicken. So the, the snake spirit is a spirit that fights to eat or devour our blessings, our wealth, our prosperity, and our breakthroughs. So let us take you through the three common traits of snakes. The first trait, the common trait of snakes, is their subtility. You would ask yourself, is it really bad to be uh, crafty or to be uh, wise? We are going to read uh, in the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 10, and verse 16. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Verse 16. Mm. Matthew, uh, chapter 10, verse 16. Matthew 10, 16. Yabango dere mbatumye muri nk'intama hagati y'amasega nuko mugira ubwenge nk'inzoka kandi muzabe nk'inuma mutagira amaho Verse 16 says that behold I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves therefore be wise as serpents and harmless as doves No bango ni imana ubwayo irabizi ko inzoka igira ubwenge it means that God himself understands that snakes are crafty in nature. Therefore, 
mbatumye mumeze nk'intama muri nk'intama ariko mu gihe hagati y'amasega Jesus is uh, exporting his disciples telling them that I'm sending you out into the world but I send you as sheep in the midst of wolves Nibangu intama ni nyamaswa ni kiremwa kitagira mahane kita ni kiryana ni cyanduranya ni kiremwa kiza kigira umutima mwiza In this case a sheep is one of the animals that are humble non violent they don't uh, start wars they are so humble and docile na Yesu yitwa umwana w'intama w'Imana Jesus himself is called the son the lamb of God Yerazi abantu agiye kohereza uko yabigishije discipline yabo eh uko ari inyanga mugayo mu mico ni myifatire ari abantu bazima ariko rabo ati aho mbohereje aho mugiye hagataho harimo amasenga Jesus knew very well the character and the discipline he trained his disciples they were men of integrity but he was warning them telling them I'm sending you outside the world in the midst of worlds Ni nkuko waba uri mu Kristo wari izijambo ry'Imana wari risobanukiwe uzimana noneho bakakohereza ahantu mwisi y'abapagani basenga ibigirwamana bafite indi myuka abantu banduye mu mutima noneho bakakohereza ngo uje kuvuga ibutumwa It's like sending a well-trained Christian, born-again Christian, trained and fed with the Word of God, and sending them outside into the world in a perverse generation. People who worship idols, people who are violent, people who are evil. Abano wakuri muzi mana, bize jambari mana. Hari haru haru uzimu bohansi wa bataz. Haru nugu cha nugu chenga wuyo, wonyanga bokorewa yo, ugeskoro bhaba boni wa wabuz. Ndi kubera ko bamenyereye kuba mu nzu y'Imana baramye Imana bahimbaza Imana bazi gukora ibyiza birindi bibi iyo bagiye mu isi yabari abantu irabagora cyane People who are groomed into the house of God there there is a lifestyle they don't know or there is an outside life lifestyle they don't live they don't have this craftiness they don't have uh, subtlety they are not uh, 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 vengeful so sending them into the world they are going into a life that's very new and so contradictory to the life they grew up in birabagora kubeshya kumenya ko umuntu avuga a kandi yari afite ba mu mutima ari yakabaye avuga it becomes very hard for them to lie to say that this is a yet it's supposed to be b ko bamenyereye ko babwira ngo yego yanyebe yego na oya yanyebe oya rero bagenda bazi ko nabandi basanze hari ahanze yego yabivuze yego na oya yabivuze oya They are familiar to the word of God which says that let your yes be yes and let your no be no. So it's very much contradictory to the lifestyle outside the world uh, where they are familiar and acquainted to lying. Ni impamvu yeso yabwiye ngo ubwo mugiye ni mugira ubwenge nk'ubwinzoka. Ngo ariko kandi hari hari indi hari indi hari kindi kintu yababwiye. Yabwiye ngo dore mbatumye muri nk'intama hagati y'amasega. Nuko mugira ubwenge nk'inzoka kandi muzabe nk'inuma mutariganya that's why jesus in verse 16 of matthew 10 he exhorts and instructs them that behold i send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves therefore be wise as serpents and harmless as doves rwango inuma ni kimenyetso inuma no ivuga umwuka wera a dove always represents the holy spirit Muri uko giye Yesu yabatizwaga umwuka wa mujo mushwe inuma. Jesus baptism remember the the Holy Spirit descended upon him in a form of a dove. Eh umwuka inuma cyangwa se umwuka wera ni umwuka w'ubwenge buva ku mana. The spirit of God is a spirit of wisdom and knowledge that descends directly from God. So yari mabwira ngo mwebwe kuri yisa wo mugiye kugenda mugende mufite ubwenge nk'ubwinzoka ariko kandi Mweho umwuka w'Imana kugira ngo mutazaba bariganya kuko inzoka ni umwuka w'ubwenge ariko kandi w'umuriganya He's telling them please I want you to go outside into the world have the wisdom like that one of a snake but don't be cunning don't be vexatious don't be violent people like a snake it's of by nature Iyo ugize ibyabuga hura n'umuntu uri mu mwuka w'ubwenge ari umwuka w'inzoka afite ubwenge bw'umwuka w'inzoka ariko adafite umwuka w'Imana adafite umwuka w'Imana uri kubuzima bwe uri ya numuntu mubi cyane bene abo bantu nabantu bakora n'ubwenge ariko gutega abandi mitego cyangwa se gukomeretsa abantu 
you meet a person, if you happen to meet a person with the knowledge and subtlety of a snake, but without the knowledge and the wisdom uh, that comes from God, those people, naturally they are violent, they are so bad, they are so harmful to others. The Bible calls this kind of knowledge of wisdom uh, that it's, uh, it's a uh, uh, knowledge of human animal-like knowledge. It doesn't come from God himself, but it comes from people and serves the interests of people. So the world has got its form and standards of knowledge or wisdom. And the knowledge of God is pure, but the knowledge of the world is perverse and defiled. What purifies and makes for the knowledge of sons of men, it is the knowledge of God. If you have the knowledge of God inside you, then you are holy and pure. And the knowledge that comes from God itself is the real essence and the definition of what wisdom or knowledge is. You can go through different courses or different teachings, but without the knowledge of God itself, you remain a poor person in, uh, in, 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 in terms of understanding. We always meet people in the world in our daily life who have this kind of wisdom. These people have got the knowledge of the world, but they lack the knowledge of God. So, much as they have this kind of knowledge, they don't have the equalizer, which is the knowledge that comes from God, to make things right. They end up being crafty and being cunning like a snake. Iyo ugani ni na we usang iye chuo sahora fiti na manziza sahora fiti vite chile zovisima ari kio bidi iyo udie kubi kurejesha zana maya guhai bibuha musaruro wata nukani nuko a vite chile zana. These people when you meet them they they always have with themselves with a lot of advices that at the face of it they seem to be good but when you put into action their advices they plunge you into a dungeon into a hole. So the knowledge that comes from God, from above, it is the real pure knowledge that every Christian should be having today. Some people... You sometimes meet people with some knowledge or understanding on a given field, on a particular field, but because they lack the knowledge of God, it ends up being bad because they are using it badly. They lack the knowledge of God to counterbalance the knowledge of sons of men. In most cases, you find people amazed and very much appalled, asking themselves, how can such an educated man or woman do such a thing with such a high level of education? Uh, I want to give you an example. Look at the people who manufacture tobacco cigarettes. There is a disclaimer that says that tobacco is harmful to human health. But the doctors who treat us, who advise us on the healthy tips, you find them taking tobacco, which kills. You understand? Can this really add up? You just end up questioning these people's knowledge. Uh, a person who is supposed to, uh, advise, to advise you against smoking, they are the same people 
smoking, knowing very well the impact and the harmful effects of, of, of smoking itself. Nero muri yisi duhura nabantu benshi bafite ubwenge butandukanye ariko bidusaba cyane kumenya gucagura izo nama baduha gutandukanya inama zabo niba ari inama zimu mwuka w'Imana niba ari inama zitari mu mwuka w'Imana So in our daily life in this world you meet a lot of people who are going to give you different advices uh, different uh, information but you need to sift you need to sieve them and separate what works for you and what doesn't work for you Nibivuze yuko abantu bose no bafite ubwenge uzemera ko influencing ubuzima bwawe kuko harabazaza bafite ubwenge ariko atari ubwenge bw'Imana For there are some people who seem to have no reach in a given field and they are willing to give you some advice but don't think that every advice really comes from God Eh uh, twavuze ni nugusa neza The second common trait of snakes uh, that is common to all snakes is that they are really shiny they, are, they look good inzo kisaneza ku mubiri wayo ku buryo nici mu mukungu gucyanga mu byondo ntago yandura ikumisa neza snakes are very much beautiful and shiny to the extent that even though they crawl in the dust they will remain beautiful and smart leo no bango mu muri isi na none tubamo hari gihe ahantu hakunda kumwuka w'inzoka na ahantu hakunda kubashashagirana kandi hasa neza cyane Likewise in our daily life in this world places that are frequented by the spirit of snakes they are characterized by shiny glittering things Aha ikiza kubwira ko abantu bashobora kuba ari umwuka w'inzoka cyangwa se umuntu muri kumwe ashobora kuba ari mu yumwuka azahora kwereka ibyiza gusa akugira inama yo gukora ibintu byiza bisa neza ariko bitari ngombwa How will you know that a place is infested is possessed with the spirit of snake or how will you know that a person has got a spirit of a snake many times they are going they will be approaching you with beautiful things with beautiful advice with beautiful glittering plans nibango baguha bakubwira ibintu byiza bakakumvisha gukora ibintu byiza ndetse nawe muri hoga hora umushaka gukora ibintu byiza ariko kandi bitari ngombwa they are going to switch talk you they are going to give you good advices they are going to bring you good plans uh, that really will in the end inspire you but if you look deeply into what they are telling you it's the advice is not really good aruko na kenshi mu buzima abantu twibeshya ko ibintu ibikenewe ari byiza no ntago ibikenewe ari byiza aho bikenewe ni biri ngombwa Uh, most cases we lie ourselves or we mistake ourselves thinking that the necessary things are the good ones but what the, but in essence the necessary things are those that are needful or those that are necessary are the face of something something or a good or property might be good might look good but do you really need it iyo gikorewe mu gihe cyacyo icyo gikoresha ibyo cyagenewe gukora so hari ikintu cyo ari kiza ariko niki gira mu maro kuko twebwe twa twa trainingswe cyangwa se twigishije ko ibintu byose bigomba guhora bisa neza ariko bisa neza ntabwo ari ku byose bifite akamaro i want to inform you that a good or something is really good and purposeful if it is done in its appropriate due time uh, we were groomed up and trained that everything that looks good at the face is really necessary but that's not the point akenshi rero twe twitiranye ibyo bintu ibintu ibiri ibya ibiri ngombwa tukabisimbuza ibisa neza so in most cases we confuse these these two things what is we confuse what is necessary and needful to what is really good or what looks good ko ubuzima bwacu ntabwo bwakiye kubisa neza ahubwo bwakiye kubiri ngombwa because our lives are not built or founded on what things that look good but they are founded on the things that are necessary and needful akenshi abantu bakora ibintu baharanira gukora ibintu bisa neza mu maso yaba ubikora ugira gushimisha aba ariko ibyingenzi ubikora kubwa inyungu zawo ntabwo ibyingenzi akenshi ntabwo bishimisha aba people who strive to do things uh, to do good glittering things uh, in the face of people they are looking for vain glory but people who invest their efforts and their knowledge into necessary needful things they do such things because of their very life and their own interests 
abantu bakunda gukora ibishimwa nabantu cyangwa se ibisa neza maso yabantu nabantu bakunda gukomerwa amashyi nabantu bakunda gushimwa cyane people who like uh, vain glory who are after vain glory from people you find you in most cases there are people who want people to applaud them to clap for them to publicly praise them ndaba urugero uzumva bavuga ngo uriya mugabo kanaka ngo asengera neza cyane niba hari umuntu usengera inzoga neza mu kabari ikaryoha ni kanaka kuba mukundira ko basengerera cyane gusengera cyane bakabikunda ni byiza kuko ari basengerera bakomwe gashinyoro ariko kandi icyakaba ikingenzi so gusengera no kuziga mari amafaranga akayakoresha ikintu cyamugirira kamoro nawe you find many people praising uh, son so that he's really good he can buy you uh, several bottles of beer uh, beer in the bar but what is necessary what is good in this case is not this person buying uh, uh, shots of uh, beer to somebody but what is necessary is him saving this money that he is pouring ko bya gutangaza ko no muntu uhora mu kabari buri munsi asengera abantu bamushima bakoma mu mashyi wagera mu zugasanga nagera na televiziyo muri saro nagera n'amapantara biryo guhindura ariko mu kabari ni umuntu usengera neza abantu bose baramukunda koko abakorera ibintu byiza you will meet somebody who is praised by his colleagues uh, that they go to bar together that, that he buys them beer he's a good man he's a good uh, character man but when you go to their very houses their very homes you can't find anything there are no TVs there are no furniture there is nothing yet in the outside world they have good report eh abantu bamuguze mu kabari nabo inzoga iryo kuko iyaje arabaganirira akabasetsa akasengera inzoga ikaryo iyo bamuguze baba babangamwe ben uyu nguyu uzasanga abana be biga mu ishuri ribi cyane nyuma yababa ndasengerere when his colleagues that they are uh, booze or drink together don't find him in the bar there is no tranquility there is no joy but if you go deep into this person's life his children are those that go to bad schools the life in home is not really good and the the the, the, the lifestyle the general lifestyle of this kind of a person is just down and low ko umushyize imbere bintu kamubwira ngo usengere inzoga mu kabare n'ama brochette hanyuma hano hakaza kwigisha abana kubambika kubagabura neza we yumva ko muri we ikiri ngombwa ari kujya gusengera zira nzoga mu kabari nyamara mu gihe cyakabaye ikingenzi kuri we ari ukwita ku muryango ukamera neza if you can tell this person to choose between taking care of their families their wives their children taking them to good schools and choosing between uh, going to the bar and buy his colleagues and friends some beer these people are going to choose uh, the, the the latter instead of choosing taking care of their family because they think that is what is necessary nuko ko twa mu busobanuro bw'umwuka yizoka twavuze ko ikunda kurya amagi kandi amagi ni umugisha w'abantu ni umutungo wejo hazaza w'umuntu rero iyo umwuka yizoka iriyoberanya ikihisha ikazi rimwe na rimwe mu bintu bisa neza abantu bakunda abantu bashima wo ubwawe utabisobanukiwe wisanga uyu mwuka warakunyaze warakumaze hebiri remember uh, we talked or shared in the last session that snacks uh, they, they 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 strive to eat people's future life they eat your blessings in the future they eat your posterity they eat even your future livelihood so most cases snakes feign or pretend uh, uh, and 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 manifest themselves in shiny beautiful things at the service at the surface yet in the essence in the deep of that particular thing they want to destroy you destroy your future destroy your future business destroy your future family e uyu mwaka w'inzoka biragoye kugira ngo umuntu nubufite yemere ka bufite kuko numurwaza ngo yumve wenda afite muri ragiye kwa muganga wa mutera urushinge numwuka uzuka kujyaho ukabana nawo mu buzima utasesengwe cyane ngo ubuzima bwa ubushake ukoreshere bibilia byaza kugora kumenya ko uwo mwuka ukuriho and do you know what is most amazing and appalling people who are possessed with this snake spirit it's hard for them to know that they are really possessed because it is it will leave you intact at the surface you feel no more you feel you're not sick there is no abnormality everything is normal but the truth is you're possessed and it's dragging you to the to your crowd to the grave uh adekabaye urundu rugero rutoye uzasanga akenshi nka nk'umwana w'umukobwa akubwira ngo gye nkunda gusohoka 
nkitemberera ngajyana nabashuti banje nabatukarya tukabyina tukajya mu bwate ariko iyo bigeze gushaka bati no nge numva nakeneye gushaka uyu muntu kuri we iki ngenzi niki no gusohoka no gutemberera nabasore cyangwa no gushaka kubaka kagira urugo ku imyaka yo gushaka iminarenga let me give you another exa uh, interesting example you meet some young ladies in uh, in the town in the city they would tell you i like going out i like uh, being treated out going out with my friends uh, go have fun but when you tell them uh, the notion about getting married establishing a family they will tell you we are not ready we are not interested then you ask what is more important what is this uh, going out being treated out or establishing a family have a future ko uriya mwuka umubwire yuko nashaka azabavuye muri iyo group yawo bantu muri cyo kigare kandi cyari ifite ubuzima buryoshye kuko baratembera bakarya bakanywa bakabyina bagata ariko ntabwo ubuzima iki ngenzi cy'ubuzima so gusohoka so gutembera so kubyina so kurya imyaka agezemo yakabaye yitera mu gashaka kabyara karera abantu do you know what they fear they think that if they go into marriage establish a family they are going to lose their friends they are going to lose, lose this ephemeral beautiful life of going out of eating and drinking and having fun yet what is most necessary and important in her case is just getting married have a beautiful family have kids and have a future life we akenshi akubwira yuko byo gushaka ntabwo ntagari ngongo kuri we ahora na excuses z'abantu bashatse nibigende neza ntabwo shobora kuvuga bashatse bikagenda bikagenda neza aho gahora kubwira abaje kanaka yaragiye biramunanira rataha kanaka yaragiye biramunanira rataha so giye numva nari ntabwo ni interested kujya mu rushako ubuzima mbayemo buramagije uyu nawo ni wa muka w'inzoka urimo urya mahirwe ye witwaje kumwerekaka kibyo abona ari byo byiza in most cases they will tell you uh, getting married having a family is a second option it's not a primary option Be uh, they are they are, they are all, always often infested by negativity negative mindset about about ma getting married and having families they will cite different examples of failed it is a spirit of a snake manifesting unknowingly into this lady which is uh, after her life after her future life which is willing to kill her abantu bumva ko ibintu byo gusa neza ari byo biri priority bego gusa neza n'ubusanzwe ni byiza ariko ntabwo umuntu abo umuntu w'agaciro kubera imyenda myinshi ahinduranye buri munsi y'agaciro uwo ari bwiza ajyamo ibintu byiza hari hari ya no hari ibintu by'ingenzi biri priority ku buzima bw'umuntu ibyo rero bitabyitayeho ukita kubisa neza gusa uburi muri ganwa n'umwuka wizo ka ku buzima bwawo isin many people prioritizing their skin beauty others prioritize uh, having friends or treating their friends outside in the bar others prioritize, prioritize different unnecessary things but that, that's not what is most important the most important fact in your life is having a very good founded family that is aiming for a good future abantu bazumva kenshi abantu bavuga ngo kana kuriya ngurebye ibigo yagiye akora mu ngo niwe muntu wakore ahantu heza hahembaga neza ariko kugeza ubu ngubu dore uko abayeho nta kintu kimwe afite ibyo yakoreye byose byatwawe n'uyu mwuka uwa mwerekaga ibisa neza akabare bya priority nta priority ibiri ngombwa ku buzima bwe you remember people telling stories of people uh, who worked in different good institutions with a very good salary but if you look at their current life it's very much appalling why the spirit of snakes stole their blessings stole their future life and now they are warring in misery Uh, hari nanone icya gatatu twavuze ati ubuganireho ni kwihisha kwa inzo kirisha ikiyoberanya the third common snake character is that snakes hide themselves secondly they like pretending and camouflaging into what they are not eh umwuka w'inzoka no inzoka izikwihisha ku buryo ishobora kwihisha ahantu munzu irimo sima idafiye nta byatsi bihari ukayishaka ntuyibone ukaza kwibona bikugoye izi kwiyisha kandi kicha nahantu hato cyane iriyoberanya ndetse hari nizindi nubundi bwoko bw'inzoka zikunda gusa naho zigiye aho igiye zikamera nk'uru nyarovu igahita hinduka igasa nkaho yajya hanyana none kaza guhinduka igasa nkaho kuburyo bigoye kwibona kuko aho yageze rasa naho yageze snakes are very 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 good masters and 
and and and so 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 tricky when it comes to hiding and camouflaging. Some snakes will resemble look like the places where they are where they are currently are, or they can even hide in a place where you cannot find it, cannot uh, see it with your eyes. Iyo umuntu ni mumuka wizoka akwegere yi iya rima uyu mwuka yuri mukuzaho uje mu muntu agerageza gusa ntawe mu buryo bwose bushoboka agerageza kumenya ibyo ukunda akaba ari byo akunda ibyo wanga akaba ari byo yanga wamubwira ku bintu byose murahuza yakubaza ati wamubwira ati kinyi kinyi kunda ati burya naje se nyikunda uyu se ku muntu ubagenda we tumeze kimwe so abari mu agerageza kwihisha no kuyoberanya kugira ngo n'ukuntu wamushudika akwinjiremo people who are possessed with a spirit of a snake spirit they are so good in disguising themselves and pretending when they meet you they will do their best to be like you to connect with you what you like they like what you don't like they don't like and then at the first meeting it will click you feel like ha ah, this is the person we have the same likes we have the same uh, don't likes you feel that like this person is your style ko iyo iyo umugize ibintu mudahuzaho mutemera naho yajya kure yawe ntaza abantu kuno wa mwuka ukunyaga ibyo uje kunya kwi mwuka za ufite impamvu itari za kuzima bwawe in any case if there is any disconnection and disparity on difference between you and this snake uh, uh, possessed person it, it won't give him or her a chance to come near you to have your access so that they may uh, deprive you of your future blessings ko ege iyo mubwiye ngo arakubaza ngo kuri equipe uti nkunda Manchester ati nange niyo nkunda wa mwazo ti harya ukunda kuri muri restaurant uti nkunda kujya kamili ati tugende wa yagira ati yo imana ishimwe kuki utahanzanye ke buri kintu cyose umwere tukunda aragikunda kwicya swaka ni no kujya ngo kwikonekteho akwizirikeho they make sure that when you they meet you your lifestyle flows you ask them what uh, team what club do you support they will tell you i'm i'm a manchester united fan and he will say i find also manchester united they will, you ask them what kind of a hotel where do you free, uh, go for your lunch they will, you say I'm, i go to camiria he will say i also go to camiria so they make sure that you flow you connect in each and everything uyu muko horosha iyo muhuye ikintu cyose umubwiye akubwira ko nawe acyumva nkuko cyumva ikintu cyose ushaka na waragishaka ikintu cyose wemera arakemera ndetse iyo umuganiriye experience y'ubuzima bwawe afata history yawe akayeditinga kayihinduriye na bakaguha iye kwimeze nk'iya kugira ngo mwumve ko namateka yanyarasa in most cases they make sure that uh, you likes their their likes and uh, your, 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 your dislikes their their dislikes they are, they will make sure that they will appeal and conquer with everything you, you tell them to the extent that even your background story your life story they are going to edit it and own it and present it as if it is their own life story iya maze kukwinjiramo neza iya maze kumva ko agufite wese wewe wibeshye ko ufite inshuti magara na ufite ubushebwe bw'inzoka mu muri wawe butari bwigaragaza umunsi bwigaragaje umutima wawe uzashwanya guri after having a full access of your life your soul and spirit now they have you you think you have a friend you think you have a dear friend in your life yet you have a spirit of a snake looking for your downfall hari 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 inkuru iri mu mubami wa mbere 1318 ni ndende ntabwo tubu isome yose ariko evuga ku mwana umusore w'umuhanuzi waruki muto noneho ava ibuyuda imana imwohereje kujya kujya i Beteli hari gicanduro cyayo muri Israel. Uh in second kings uh chapter 13 first kings in first kings chapter 13 uh verse 18 there is a story a long story of a young man uh whom God sent from his place uh for a mission. Imana yamuhereje yo kugira ngo ajye kwanura kuko Israel yari irimo itanda itandukira cyo gihe hari kongoma y'umwami Yerobowamu icyo gihe uh, hari umuhanuzi uraba ngo hari hari umuhanuzi w'umusaza noneho uyu musora gezeyo aravuga iby'Imana yamubwiye ariko umuhanuzi w'Imana yaramubwiye ngo nugenda inzira wagiyemo ntuzayice mugaruka nugerayo ntuzarye ntuzanwe nugerayo uzace imwe imwana yubwira inzira zaca makagaruka nta kindi kinakoze uretse gusa gutanga message Imana yari yamuhaye this young prophet was sent to uh, this place to King Jeroboam 
uh, to prophesy uh, unto him because they had gone astray and sinned against God. But the Bible tells us that in that very same city, there was an old prophet. God had, had instructed the young man, the young prophet, that please, go do my biddings, but don't come back in the same way that you went. Amaze kujira yo, ya vuzi, ibi imana ya mugiye, arawa mgira ngudere chimenye tochivaye, ijitani luwasi reza gai mwavu, jisadu kamo kabiri, ivuri ya chori ya sanda, umami amutu nzukuwa kafuze kwa mfati, ukuwa kwa kwe kurare mara, kuranyu unyuka kwa kuto. Uh, he went and delivered the message from God and prophesied unto the city and he said that this is the token of the sign uh, to confirm what God had said. The, 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 the altar, the altar of the offering was spread into two and the ashes of the altar scattered into the place, all over the place. And when the king tried to attack him by pointing his finger at the young prophet, his hand uh, became uh, leprous. Achimara birangiye umuhanuzi w'Imana wavuye buyuda arataha noneho aho ngaho byabereye hari hari umwana wari umwana wa musaza wa muhanuzi wa Wibetel After delivering the message the young prophet went his way back but uh, where the message was delivered there was a young man a son of the old prophet who, who lived in that place Umwana yagenda abwira papa we ibyabaye the young man told or narrated the story to the old prophet, his father, and then the old prophet asked his son that where, unto which direction did the young prophet go? The young man pointed the finger to that direction. Then the old prophet saddled his donkey and pursued the young prophet. And the old prophet pursued the young prophet and overtook him at a certain place where the young prophet was resting. And then he told him, please, come after me, let's go home, have something to eat, wash your feet and rest. The young prophet told him, please, God instructed me strictly that after delivering the message, I'm not supposed to go the same way I came. And I'm not supposed to eat at any person's place. Marika ima na yajafuga na nanyi, ngoze mugire ngongwino murugo iwa anje ufungure. Ngwari kwa kandi ngwera muweshaga, niko mwini yivuga ngwera muweshaga. As they were still discussing, the old prophet falsely prophesied to the young prophet saying, the angel of the Lord came unto me and told me to tell you to come with me to my place that you may have something, have a bread to eat and wash your feet and rest. But the Bible says that the old prophet was falsely prophesying. He told the young prophet that I'm like you, I'm a prophet as you may be. God is denying you to eat at other people's places, but I'm your fellow prophet, so there is no problem. Because he pursued the, old, the, young, the young prophet putting on the mantles and the gowns of prophets, uh, dressing like prophets, and when the young prophet saw him uh, prophesying like all prophets, he thought that he was really a prophet. Yet the old prophet had a snake spirit wanting to destroy the young prophet. The snake spirit will ever appeal to you trying to liken or disguise itself to look like you so that it may have total captive, captivate uh, you. Brethren, we've sustained many wounds that came from our uh, so-called friends, our so-called relatives, our so-called kinsmen and kinswomen. You ni reka do soreze kuri zaburi ya minangu tano naga tano do here kumurongo wa ho watu minaga tatu. Ira bango sumna nzi wanute mbanara mbanara wa shije kuihanga. Changwa wanyanga ga siwe 
wanyirase hejuru mba naramwihisha 14 ahubwo ni wowe uwo duhwanye uwo twagendanaga inshuti yanje yamagara twaganiraga tunezerewe tukagenda gendana ni teraniro mu nzu y'Imana uyu nguyu niwe niwe mu bikubuzwa bwa we are reading from uh, Psalms chapter 54 uh, 55 55 uh, from verses 12 in the English version for it says that for it is not an enemy who reproaches me then I could bear it nor it is one who hates me who has exalted himself against me then I could hide from him but it was you a man my equal my companion and my acquaintance we took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng wowe twagendanaka wowe wari shuti yanje yamagara wowe nizeraga ngo ibi ngibi iyo biza guturuka ku mwanzi mba naramwihisha iyo biza guturuka ku wundi muntu ntiwa byara gufasha ariko byaci muri wa wundi wabanje araza kwikonektaho akwizirikaho wibeshya ko ari umuntu muzima ari shuti yawo you were my friend you are my equal had it come from my enemy from my adversary i would have borne it or i would have hid from him, from him. but it came from a man my best friend my confident a person that we went together into the temple woko bw'Imana Imana barinde imyuka itatu igendera muzuka mu izina rya Yesu Imana barinde aba bantu baza bafite ubwenge bw'isi babashuka Imana barinde aba bantu baza bisize basa neza ariko mu mitima handuye Imana ibarinde abantu biyoberanye ku buzima bwanyu kuko abangaba niwe watunaniza kugera ku ntego zo buzima bwacu Brethren I declare that may God preserve you and protect you from the three spirits of the snake may God protect you and preserve you from people who pretend to be your friends yet they are not because these are the best arch forces that are against our life and against our future Imana ngujira bawo mugisha kandi mukomeze kugirirwa neza ni Imana mwirinde iyo myuka mibi mwizina rya Yesu Amen May the heavenly father protect you and bless you continue to protect yourself and preserve yourself from all these snakes we talked about in Jesus name Amen Amen mugira munsi mwiza